Miss Rona is kind of scary. At the time of filming, there are already 1.5 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the world. So maybe I'm a little bit late, but that just means it's already really widespread, which means that now more than ever, we want to protect ourselves against it, right? What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through mindfulness and science. This week we are getting into how you can up your immunity and prevent yourself and your family from getting COVID-19. Yes, it is likely that you won't get it and if you do that you will live, but have you seen some of the cases? Like, they look nasty. Like some of these people are in their 20s and they're describing the feeling of breathing while you have the coronavirus as like shards of glass going in your lungs and coming back out with every single breath. No thanks. Before we dive in, you're at home all day, right? Consider taking a hashtag self care moment and signing up for my free masterclass down below about how to transform your anxious energy into manifestation power and get the most out of your quarantine. So to start, while I am a chemical engineer and healthcare professional, I am not a doctor. Cool, glad we got that out of the way. But listen up because I want you to stay healthy. So we're gonna start with the basics. Don't miss number five, okay? That one's about the lymphatic system, which is so essential in immunity and most people don't even know what the crap it is. So keep watching, okay? Tip number one is uh, stay the f home and wash your damn hands, okay? Don't be an asshole with grimy ass, germy ass hands. Don't be the douchebag who is out not taking this situation seriously. Like seriously, go into public as minimal amount of times as possible. Stay the f home. All right, number two, we're gonna get into some of the best ways to boost your immunity. And number one is to not smoke. I know that right now, um, smoking cigarettes, smoking cannabis is really, really tempting because you have a lot of time on your hands and you're stressed out but like keep it to a minimum. If you're gonna smoke, like try to keep it to a minimum because you're just subjecting yourself to lowered immunity. And even I recommend if you're consuming cannabis to do it in edible form. Get some exercise, okay? There's so many online, like Instagram, YouTube workouts that you can be doing, even if it's just some light yoga, like yoga with Adrian here on YouTube. By the way, comment the link to what you are using to work out so we can compile a sort of like library underneath this video so that if you are wanting to work out, you just don't know where to go, you can go check that out. So comment what you're using right now. So that brings me to the next point is you need to be managing your stress because stress can really, really lower your immunity, especially if you're stressed over a family member or loved one that might have the COVID-19. I'm gonna put right here my meditation 101 video. Meditation is one of the best ways to just keep everything a bit stoic, a bit mellow, and not have such high highs when you're like stressed out. Does that make sense? And like I said, I do teach that free masterclass for anxiety, sign up below. So third, I'm gonna give you some of the best foods that you can eat for immunity. It's pretty easy, like let medicine be your food and let food be your medicine, whatever that quote is. Just eat these and you'll reap the benefits. Just eat these and know that, okay, my immunity is boosting. I'm having a hashtag self-care moment. First is citrus fruits. Any citrus, it's got vitamin C in natural form. Get some broccoli, it's got vitamins A, C, and E in it. It's super alkaline and got a lot of antioxidants which actually help you age slower, so that's another benefit. And if you like hate broccoli, you hate vegetables, just put some cheese on it. like doesn't have to be like super clean for you to get it in your system. Oh, and another thing about alkalinity. So the reason that you wanna eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to keep yourself healthy to boost your immunity is that uh, most fruits and vegetables are alkaline, meaning that they have a higher pH. And when you put your body in a higher pH, more basic versus acidic, you are much less likely to get sick. So if your body is in an acidic state, which it's the opposite of alkaline, so it's like more over here, which is what you get when you eat like soda, chips, junk food. This is where viruses thrive. And the corona, corona is a virus, right? Coronavirus. So if, if you want like coronavirus, if it were to come in contact with you, you want to give it the least amount of chance of thriving. So you wanna keep your body in the alkaline state and you do that by eating fruits and vegetables. I know it's hard. I know you wanna eat Takis and smoke cigarettes and drink white calls all day because this is a unprecedented and stressful situation, but like 
Come on, broccoli with cheese is yummy. Come on, eat, eat your vegetables. I'm begging you, please, please think about it. A lot of bad habits that we have in terms of our health, like smoking, drinking, eating junk food, increases inflammation in our body, which then primes the body for disease. So we wanna decrease inflammation and increase alkalinity. And this is how we keep our body in a state where if we come in contact with coronavirus, it's not really gonna take. Does that make sense? Or if it does take, it's gonna, you're gonna heal a lot faster. Any food that reduces inflammation or is very alkaline, eat that. I know you can do it. I know you wanna be healthy. I know you wanna be good to your body because your body is so good to you, right? Fourth on the list of things I wanna talk about, foods to limit, okay? We already know alcohol is on that list. Soda, processed foods, processed carbohydrates, processed sugars. Keep those to a minimum, okay? So a good way to know if something is processed is to think, was this grown in the ground or was it made in a factory? If it was made in a factory, it is by definition processed, right? There's no Takis tree, unfortunately. Consuming a lot of sugar, especially processed sugar, is going to increase the inflammation in your body and prime your body to let the coronavirus flourish within you if you did come into contact with it. So keep the, keep the refined sugars to a minimum. What I recommend having instead is maybe like some organic dark chocolate. You did chocolate. So the lymphatic system is a complex drainage system within the body that helps keep your bodily fluids at good levels and in place, and it helps a lot in your defense against disease and infections. It's made up of a complex network of lymphoid organs, lymph nodes, lymph ducts, lymph tissues, lymph capillaries, and a network of lymphatic vessels that carry lymph and other substances throughout the body. So in order to keep things in the body moving and to prevent from any like stallings, which like infections can happen in those stallings within the lymphatic system, you wanna keep your lymph moving. Have you ever like not worked out or exercised or moved for like a long time and you feel like stagnant almost? I That's like your lymph being like, I need to circulate, dude. I love dry brushing. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna link it down below so you can go check that out. It's basically where you like take a, and mine is I think cactus bristle, cactus bristle brush and you like go like this and it, so like you have um, lymph nodes, oh, quick flex, <laughs> you have like lymph nodes under your armpit so you will like go like this and try to get like the lymph that's here like back into your lymph nodes so they can circulate. Staying hydrated and of course getting some movement even if it's just yoga or stretching or deep breathing like moving your tissues around and like the fluids in between them that's that's how we move our lymph and that's going to keep us healthy another thing that you need to consider when keeping a healthy lymphatic system and therefore increased immunity is the topical skin products that you are putting on your skin your biggest organ every single day i'm going to link my blog post down below called your cosmetics are poisoning you so you can better learn okay what is acceptable as an ingredient in like my lotion in my shampoo in my face moisturizer and what is not what is like hormonally disrupting me what is clogging my lymph nodes okay so go check that out next week i am talking about the third eye we're getting into a lot of faq including psychedelics dmt where the term third eye originated even times in the bible where jesus of nazareth yeah like the jesus <laughs> talked about the third eye so if you are interested in the third eye and things like that and just like to open up your mind to the wonders of the universe and metaphysical phenomena then you don't want to miss it so subscribe don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more healthy and natural lifestyle through mindfulness and science start by watching one of these two videos right here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one have a blissful day and stay safe